In this video, we want to demonstrate how the FPI for CUnit can be used as an HTML web server to visualize PLC data. In our example, we will collect some data from a PLC from Panasonic, which is physically connected to the FPI for CUnit. This PLC data shall be displayed by an HTML page on our laptop. First step to do is to make the wiring between the serial interface of the FPI4C and the FP0H PLC. On FPI4C side we use the COM1 port. On FP0H side we use the COM0 port. After that we switch on the power for both units. Second step is to open our FPWIN Pro 7 programming software in order to set the configuration parameters for the COM0 port on PLC side. Be aware that these configuration settings for COM0 port must be equal to the settings in the FPI4C unit later on. We also create a sample program. This program generates some sample data which we want to display on an HTML page later on. After all the changes are done, we download our program into our PLC. For downloading, I use a simple USB connection. Third step is to get connected to the FPI4C unit by using a standard web browser. If you are not familiar with getting connected to the FPI4C, just have a look at video 1 in this training course. Once we are connected, we can directly go to the COM interface page in the application settings area. We make sure that COM1 port of the FPI4C unit is enabled. We make also sure that the configuration settings for COM1 port are equal to the settings in the PLC for COM0 port. We also need to define a port number in the port page. This is needed for forwarding the incoming data from the FPI4C Ethernet port to the FPI4C Serial port. Let's save the configuration in order to activate the new settings. After that, we make a check if we can reach the connected PLC by our FPI4C unit. To do so, we click on the Test RS232 button. We get a feedback as shown when the wiring and configuration settings are OK. Fourth step is to create the HTML web page to display the PLC data. Therefore, we need to start the software HMWIN, which can be downloaded free of charge from our Panasonic Download Center. Let's create a new project with a project name and let's select the device type FPI4C. We complete with button finish. We then need to select the correct communication driver protocol. Therefore we go to protocols. In the protocols window we press the button plus and select the driver Panasonic FP FP7. The new appearing window allows us to enter the connection settings. We select Ethernet and enter the local host IP address 127.0.0.1. We enter the port number we have defined in our FPI4C configuration settings, which is 9094. We select our PLC model. In our case we use an FP0H PLC, so we need to select FP series. Now the communication driver is ready and we can prepare the so-called tags. We double-click in the configuration folder on tags. In the tags window we press the button plus. We create a tag with the according PLC register, which we defined already in our PLC program. In our example it is the address DT100, data type is unsigned short. We rename the tag to sample data.
We then go to page 1. Let's rename page 1 to home page. We open the widget menu at the right side of HM Wing Studio and select the according widget for displaying numeric values. We double click on the element and select the PLC tag we defined before. We then press OK. We add a label and rename it to Sample Data. Next step is to transmit our page to the FPI4C unit. We go to Menu Run, Download to Target and select our FPI4C with a known IP address. We press the Download button. We enter in our browser the IP address to our home page which is stored now on our FPI4C. We need to enter our login data admin admin if it is not changed already. The result should be that we can see now our PLC sample data on an HTML website. That's all for this video. To find out more about the features of FPI4C feel free to check out the other videos on our Panasonic Academy website. Panasonic Industry